He saw me with suit and he was getting all body con the pepper. Guys, when I tell you that Big Brother is a vibe, take it from me. Big Brother is a vibe. The guy like I'm a boy. As he say I sabi I'm a boy, but no. I they learn work for where big it is because what? What is this digging? Nelly. Three <laughs> is a crowd. Mm? Three is a crowd. Exactly. <laughs> hey, better what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Battle. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you here. If this is your first time coming across my channel, you are definitely welcome. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. It just tells YouTube and the algorithm that you love the video and they can recommend it to more people, okay? And also make sure to hit on the subscribe button before you leave. Now to my returning subscribers and to some of you that just watch me, you don't want to subscribe. What did I do to you? Am I your enemy? Am I the president? Now me made things hard. No, no. Subscribe. Help me. Help me, help you, support my business, okay? Subscribe to my channel. Stop watching and going. Mm -mm. Now they do a shower work for you. Go to me and share, me and share. Hello, sit down up here. Sit down. See, that chair is there for you. Sit down there. Sit down there. Color your title. You are a better. Stop jumping around, okay? One, two, three, four. Anyways, on a more serious note, guys, the reason for this video is the level of amaboism that Big Brother was doing this afternoon. I mean, I was listening to Big Brother dig deep. He was just asking Tofa and Suj questions. Biggie wanted to know what exactly was happening with Nelly and, you know, all of that triangle that is forming up, you know, Nelly, Suj, mm -hmm, Suj, and of course, Mayor Frosch from the streets pair. Biggie was just asking questions left, right, center. Biggie wanted to know what was up. And then when he took me out completely, it was when Nelly and Anita got in for their own diary session, Biggie started asking them, you know, questions around, oh, mm, how do you guys like your head of house? They said, fine. Everybody have been saying that Zindi Nays have been trying, that they love their tenure so much. They put the house in order. You know, they've been praising them. And for me, I think we can all see that because they are actively involved in practically everything happening in the house. Okay, so housemates coming into the diary room to tell Big Brother that they love this tenure. It's no surprise to us. It's no brainer. These girls are really good. And yeah. I'm happy for them. Okay, now Big Brother just kept asking, okay, so how are you guys preparing for your wager? How was the task from yesterday, the tiger task that they had yesterday? How did it go? Who do you think should have won? You know, all of those questions. Little did I know that Biggie had a plan. Biggie was waiting for the right moment to strike. Next thing, Biggie said, okay, tell us, uh, what do you think about the new custodians and, you know, just the happenings in the house? And then, of course, innocently, Nelly and Anita started telling Big Brother that, ah, since these guys won custodians, people have been trying to get close to them. In fact, they have more friends these days and all of that. Because, of course, they all know the benefit of, you know, being in the good books of the custodians for the week and all of that. Big Brother now said, okay, so you, Uncle, you know, what's your relationship like? What's going on there? Now Nelly starts to Nelly say, well, you know, Mayo had asked her out in the house, you know, and she had told him that she was not interested in a relationship for now. Then at some point, she now swallowed it for now and now said that she was not interested in a relationship in the house and she had told him. But then for Mayo, he had mentioned to her as well that he had a problem with the way Suj has been sujing around. <laughs> He has been searching around Nelly. And for Mayo, he did not like it, you know, so he pointed it out. And I know some of you have told me in the comments, you know, that there's a male rivalry this season and it's all about a woman. And the woman in this case is Nelly, okay? Nelly and that Hanyash go put people for trouble. Mm -hmm. That bomber where she carried for there, he go put people for trouble. Anyway, she was like, oh, that she should have told him that she's not interested in a relationship. And, you know, Mayo had gone ahead to complain about how, you know, Suj is all over her, blah, blah, blah. That sometimes he wants to talk to her, but then Suj is just there. And she's like, Suj is just my friend, okay? If you want to speak to me, that doesn't stop you. You come and meet me. If you want to have a talk with me, come to me and have a conversation, okay? Like, no need to tell me, say, because person sit down near me, you cannot come to me, you cannot talk. I say, okay. I'm loving it for you, Nelly. I am loving it for you. Next thing, when my big brother go talk, Biggie say, Nelly, don't you think that three is a crowd? I say, hey, Biggie, you know this. Biggie, you understand this thing. Hmm. 
The last time somebody told me three is a crowd, it was in uni. And the way they told me that thing, it paid me because Namina that they refer to as crowd, a whole me, a whole me, a whole better. Now me be crowd. Anyway, times have passed because if I say make I go back to those my university days, eh, those people will tell me that thing. I for don't anyway, better calm down. Sha, people that say three is a crowd, don't you think so? Now then the boss laugh. Guys, it was funny. It was really funny. Big brother was not asking her, oh, so do you think that this will affect your relationship with you know mayor? Do you think it would affect him maybe trying to save you and all of that? And she's like, well, that she's hoping it doesn't help because she has had a conversation with him. You know, she had a conversation with him yesterday. She also had it today. She actually had told the guy that there's nothing, no, there's nothing. Our friendship is still as you know intact as it can be, and all of that. Guys, I found that really hilarious. And also, they moved on from that and started talking about um Chiwe. Okay, now a lot of people have complained in recent times that you know the house has somehow been split into two. They are clearly two groups. You would always find Chiwe. You know the zero pair flourish you always find them together talking and all of that when somebody comes in they will zip it they will not really continue what they're saying so it's almost like the house has been divided and you know people are now camping in different areas trying to find you know the best alliances and all of that which for me is all part of the game you know i'm really looking forward to all of this scheming and plotting and twisting and bending of neck and all of that right but the fact that you know they also pointed out that chinwe had spoken to chinne of the Ndine pair in such a rude manner, in such a demeaning manner, guys. For me, that was quite disturbing. Okay, it's one thing for people to complain about you and say, Oh, you are like this, you are like that. But then when you're acting like the bully of the house, you know, quote and unquote, it then becomes a problem. Now they had mentioned to Big Brother categorically that you know, Chiwe had gone to Chine, you know, Chine was in the garden that day and she was washing, right? since they got into the house you know from what they were explaining chinne has really not washed her clothes it's only been Nne washing and all of that so she's like okay let her now finally do her laundry and of course you guys know they do not have a lot of clothing rack so of course if your clothes is dried you pack it but in a situation where you don't pack it whoever wants to wash will just you know find out who has the clothes so yeah come and pack it so that i can wash and all of that chinne is trying to wash the space that the clothes were, you know, I think it was Nelly's clothes or somebody's clothes that was on there, but she had already spoken to Nelly. Chine had already spoken to Nelly. Nelly had said she could remove them so that she can spread her own and all of that. And then a few moments later, Chine comes into the garden and sort of orders Chine to take the clothes off because she wants to wash. I don't understand. You carry the wire from your ass, come. Now your ass. Now your ass. Are you the house prefect? Like, who are you to tell me to take my clothes off in such a tone? Even if you wanted to wash or something, you know, you can speak to me in a more polite manner. Then I'll say, oh, I didn't know you wanted to wash. You know, it's okay. But not commanding me. Hello, why you go command me? The same audition you auditioned is the same audition I auditioned. The same way they called your name on stage is the same way they called my name. So you have no right. And for Nelita, that was so annoying. Because, you know, Anita mentioned that Chine said that to them. You know, Chine had, you know, mentioned that to them. And, like, they've just been giving Chiwe space because Chiwe has been doing too much in the house. And for me, it's like, thank God I'm not in the house, Sha. Thank God I'm not in the house because I will spread my clothes for that wire. Then they are not born you away. To come out huh? because you go tell me whether now you carry clothing. I just say, as my my mouth is not good. That's the thing. I cannot fight to, but my mouth is not good. Why would you like for me when they were talking in that diary room? I was wishing that I was big brother. Make I give the answer. Say go and tell her. But anyway, I did outside, so I not go fit. Biggie calmly said, okay, so what are you going to do about it? And then Nelly was like, well. Chiwe has not come to me directly. They're not born away. May she come meet me. Come they run her mouth anyhow. Chiwe has not done that to me. So I'm waiting for the day she will come to me directly. Then I would address her directly. You know, for Nelly, I'm not cut out for them. Say them say, if you do anything personally to me, I will give it to you, Oto Oto. You know. <laughs> In fact, at some point when she was talking. She used the F word mistakenly. She was like, I don't give a fuck. I was like, Biggie, sorry, no foul word. No, because she was so upset about it. And Anita also confirmed the same story. For me, it didn't sit well, though. Mm -mm. 
it is it you can be bossy yo. you can choose to be bossy but don't come and bully me you know you tell me to remove my cloth because you want to wash you never even wash make a better calm down better zen zen i better tell the talk that for all those videos zen zen basically zen i don't even know but anyway let me know what you think about that okay now before i round off this video at this point hello victoria what's going on do you need help is something wrong do you want to go home do you want to go home i feel like this parenting eh, it will put a lot of pairs in trouble because you know victoria you know at the beginning we're all complaining oh sean 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 why are you not talking to victoria mm, why are you letting victoria sit all by herself why are you hello at this point sean if you don't want to sit it again i dare your back because i don't understand it guys three people have tried to have conversations with victoria sean himself has tried to have a conversation with her suj has suged her too he has spoken to her about the fact that she just sits by herself and you know how it's not okay for the game and all of that tj now rounded things off by even advising her okay even if you don't like talking in the house you don't like being with you at least they dress maybe they see something to talk about give us a fashion vibe let us know that there's a fashionista in the house do something literally everybody's trying to talk to her to do something when suj was talking to her about it she was just saying oh but i overheard you and tofa and um, sean people were talking about how i have a cool relaxed face i basically she even caught her face and the guy was like we're not even talking about you they were describing me that my face is always cool calm and collected no expression and all of that they were talking about me and not you plus if you heard something like that at least you will ask you will ask question okay no verse he even apologized to her and said okay we're not even talking about you but it's fine but at this point do something you're just too quiet and all of that the first time suj tried to have a conversation with her this girl literally stood up and walked out on him it was the second time he tried to have the conversation with her that she now pointed out that oh by the way and um, because she was not even called him the second time to say let's have a talk and she's like yeah by the way one of the things that made me walk out and all of that is because i overheard you having a conversation and i felt like you people were talking about me now the guy cleared it that look we're not talking about you we're talking about me but then no verse now at this point can you do something about it her face was still there like mm. i'm like if you are depressed if something is wrong with you <laughs> There's something called voluntary exit baby girl okay you cannot just stay there and not be doing anything i know that people have been saying on the internet oh she's not doing anything but she's trending every day trending for what reason what is she trending for furniture has been trending alongside her furniture baby say furniture they do anything just they trend that means you are just in the house occupying space matter matter guys i don't really know i feel like if she doesn't want to be a part of the game then she might as well just tell people that she wants to leave because i don't know how long she wants to keep her you know quiet and all of that for i don't know how long she wants to keep that going i don't i mean i don't know to be honest anything will make big brother split this housemate because okay i'm going to repair you and regroup you victoria i don't know i don't know maybe you come and be trending outside let's just be looking at your face people have told me better she just has a face for postcard she's come and use it to make money outside and stop disturbing our our, our screen while some people are there arguing and saying oh but she's really good for the camera every time the camera shows her you know she's so beautiful she's so this hello now beauty will want you am i not beautiful i'm not there i did my ass beauty for the screens beauty on youtube but say on if you never see my face once like this and i know they did okay that's beauty hello victoria come outside come and join me you can come and co-host with me because i'm not really sure say you're ready you don't need this guard so you better you, you better wrap up this phase of your or, or, or of your face posture face i don't even know it's our color and give us something to talk about i don't want to talk all this one this is our talk now number eight i want to talk yes i'm talking about you but i don't want to be talking about you in this way so give me something else to work with okay t for thanks anyways guys let me know what do you think about all these things that i have discussed do you think that my mouth is sharper than biggie's mouth because at this point i beg to differ biggie mouth sharp in fact i need to go for tutorial on how to do amiibo because biggie biggie they dig oh hey you got a dig <laughs> guys let me know what you think okay thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys so much and of course i'll see you on the next one all right bye